Once you've got Onyx loaded, you're going to see a couple options on this launch screen. We can create a new show. We can load an existing show. We can join a XNet network show or continue the last show. Now, the continue button, as we can see here, just says continue because I just installed the software fresh and um, I haven't launched a show previously. So this actually won't do anything. But once you've launched a show right here where it says continue, it will say the name of the last show. So you know what you're about to continue. For this case, I'm just going to go ahead and create a new show so that we can get started and dive into the software. So I'm going to press new. It asks me again to confirm that I want to create a new show. Now I can go ahead, I can name that show. So I'm just going to call this YouTube test, press enter, boom. And now a new show is going to be loaded. Now I'm going to go over a couple quick things with the user interface, kind of how things lay out here as it loads. The very first thing you're going to see is here is the main Onyx window. Okay. Now, in this area, once we click on the screen view, is where our various windows are going to show up. Then, on the left here, this is our sidebar. It's got various views and commands that we're able to assign to it. Across the top here, we can access our main menu by pressing Onyx. And we've also got a variety of other options. On the right here, we've got our encoder wheels that are on the side of the screens on some of the Onyx consoles. Down at the bottom here, we've got our command line, and this is where we're able to control our fixtures attributes using the encoders. Last, at the very bottom, we've got our main playback faders, 1 through 10 and 11 through 20 on the side. We can double click those to change the positions. We'll go over all this later, and now we'll dive into patching in our very next video.